In this video, I will show you how to unclog your MakerBot Smart Extruder when you get a filament jam. So what you need to clean a Smart Extruder is you need a flathead screwdriver and make sure the tip on it is very thin. Um, you don't want that to be uh, too thick or it won't work very well. Uh, you'll need some needle nose pliers and then you need your Smart Extruder. So, um, first thing to do is there's three plastic pieces that you need to remove. So, the first one is at the top right here, and you just pop that off right here and here. So, I'll go ahead and do that. Be gentle, don't force anything or you'll break pieces and clips. So remove that. And then the next thing you're going to want to do is remove this base right here. Um, so uh, there's two pieces to this. Um, start with the top piece. So you can see right here there's a clip here and then there's a clip here. You want to remove, start by removing those two clips. When you're prying up on the clips, pry very, very gently and directly up. Don't pry into the clip. You want to pry directly up. Now the next piece is to remove the bottom portion and there are four clips, one here, one here, and on the other side here, and here. So gently pry up on those using the same technique as before. Then once you've got that removed, you need to pull apart the body into um, into uh, two different pieces. So it splits lengthwise down the center, and there are six clips you need to remove. So down here and down here. So go ahead and start prying up on those, and again be gentle and pry directly up. Okay, so once you've pried the clips off, take the, um, the extruder and pull it apart gently. Um, you don't want the pieces falling out. And what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take this nozzle and you're going to want to pull it out from here. Um, be very gentle. So. Um, pull it out and you can see right here this is the filament that's jammed inside the extruder so uh, take your needle nose pliers and just pull out the filament you can also take this off which might make it easier
and once you've cleared that you want to put it back together so the piece with the spring goes in first and um, it goes in that hole there I don't know if you can see it so you just put it in there and the spring goes up against there hold that piece in and then place the nozzle part back in once you finally got the case put back together um, it could take a long time so be patient and uh, just uh, keep working at it you'll get it eventually um, snap your uh, pieces back on um, start with the bottom piece um, they, remember this right by the nozzle here there's two pieces that come off uh, snap those back on so the one with the four clips goes on first once you got that on put on the second uh, top piece the one with two clips And then this one goes on here. So um, make sure this one goes in like this. There's a little hole here and a little peg here. So you want to put the hole in the peg and slide it into place. Once you've got it reassembled, um, check that uh, there's some bounce in here. If not, then you need to take it apart and uh, redo it. But otherwise than that, that's how you uh, uh, clear a filament jam out of your MakerBot extruder. Um, and all that's left to do is put it on your 3D printer and test it out. Good luck. To see more of my computers, programs, and projects, visit www.hobbyware.org. You can also follow me on Twitter by using at Terabyte13. Thanks for watching and enjoy.